In the shadowy depths of the ancient landscape of Maharashtra lies a mystery carved in stone, the Kailasa Temple. A monumental enigma, this architectural titan of the Ellora Caves was not built but carved from a single mass of rock. This distinction makes it the largest monolithic sculpture in the world, carved from a single piece of rock. Echoing the mysteries of an advanced ancient civilization, the Kailasa Temple is a testament to a level of progress and sophistication that defies conventional boundaries of time and technology. The temple is notable for its unique acoustic properties, indicating an understanding of sound engineering prior to modern knowledge. Moreover, its complex drainage system, still operational after centuries, evidences advanced hydraulic knowledge. We explore the mysteries of the Kailasa Temple, piecing together the puzzle of this magnificent testament to human ingenuity and the advanced forgotten knowledge of our ancestors. The Kailasa Temple, an impressive architectural feat, is a crucial part of the rock-cut temples of Ellora in India. This complex, comprising over 30 rock temples, showcases incredible craftsmanship and ingenuity. These temples, carved directly into the slope of a basalt mountain, represent a variety of religious traditions, including Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism. The Kailasa Temple, dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva, stands out for its vast size and intricate design. Unlike most temples and caves within the Ellora complex, which were built by cutting from the front of the rock, the Kailasa Temple was carved from top to bottom, challenging conventional architectural norms. This reverse engineering required not only meticulous planning, but also mastery over stone that seems to transcend the capabilities of known ancient technology. The process involved removing millions of cubic feet of rock, starting from the top of the mountain and working downward, representing a titanic effort. The precision required for this work was critical. Any mistake in carving could not be corrected and might have compromised the entire structure. Moreover, the architectural superiority of the temple and the complexities of its design suggest a level of sophistication that seems advanced for its time. The temple is not merely a collection of carved rocks. It is a well-conceived architectural masterpiece with bridges, balconies, staircases, underground tunnels, drainage systems, rainwater harvesting networks, and secret passages, all carved from the same rock. The planning necessary for such an endeavor implies a deep knowledge of engineering and architecture. The orientation of the temple and its features, like the water systems, had to be considered in advance, as any mistake would have been irreversible. The scale of the construction is another astonishing aspect. One of the most striking features of the temple is a massive pillar rising over 100 feet. To carve such a monolith, builders had to precisely remove the surrounding rock, leaving the pillar standing, a feat that seems Herculean in scope. It is estimated that the amount of rock removed from the site is around 400,000 tons, a volume daunting even for modern machinery. The magnitude of this excavation raises questions about the tools and methods used. Did the ancient builders have access to some form of advanced technology, now lost to time? Historical records, or their absence, add to the enigmatic nature of the temple. Built in the 8th century, although some suggest it is much older, it was a time without modern machinery and technology. According to legend, the temple was constructed in a week, a story that originates from the devotion of Rashtra Kuta King Krishna I to the Hindu god Shiva. The story narrates how the king's gravely ill wife miraculously recovered after he prayed to Shiva and promised to build a magnificent temple in his honor. The legend suggests that divine intervention allowed for the rapid construction of the temple, completing it in a record time. The estimated time for the construction of the Kailasa Temple is a subject of wide debate and wonder. Historical records indicate that the temple was completed in less than 18 years, a period that would be nearly impossible to replicate today with all our modern technologies and machinery. The magnitude of the excavation carried out at the Kailasa Temple is truly impressive. To achieve the removal of over 400,000 tons of rock, workers would have needed to extract approximately 5 tons of rock every hour, assuming a 12-hour workday. This feat seems almost inconceivable, especially considering that even with current advanced technologies, accomplishing such a monumental task remains a challenge. An additional mystery surrounding the Kailasa Temple is the whereabouts of the excavated rock. Surprisingly, None of the approximately 400,000 tons of stone removed during the construction of the temple has been found at the site or its surroundings. This raises intriguing questions about how and where this massive amount of rock was transported, especially considering the temple's remote location and the fact that the extracted stone remains undiscovered to this day. The visibility of the Kailasa Temple from the air is another fascinating aspect. It stands out clearly when viewed from above, a unique feature among the Ellora temples. Moreover, the temple's Mahamantapa roof, adorned with four lion sculptures, 
each with one pole raised, forms an intriguing and mysterious arrangement. This unique configuration, viewed from an aerial perspective, appears to converge in an X shape, generating theories about its purpose as potential aerial markers. This raises the question of whether the temple's architects conceive these sculptures as guides or signals for celestial observers. This speculation is further fueled by references to Vimanas, the legendary flying vehicles described in ancient Hindu scriptures. Were they intended to be seen by the occupants of such mythical crafts? Returning to the structural ingenuity of the temple, the drainage system of the Kailasa Temple is another marvel of ancient engineering. It was designed to handle the heavy rains of the region, ensuring that the temple did not suffer water damage. This system includes a network of channels, gutters, and drains intricately carved into the temple structure. The design of the drainage system was an integral part of the temple's construction plan from the beginning. The architects of the Kailasa Temple had to conceive this system even before beginning to carve the temple out of the rock. This foresight is remarkable, considering that any miscalculation could not be corrected once the rock was carved and would result in flooding and erosion. The channels were strategically located to collect rainwater from the temple roofs, courtyards, and upper levels, directing it away from the main structure. The implementation of such a system in a monolithic structure is a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the builders. They had to ensure that the water channels were deep and wide enough to handle the monsoon rains and, at the same time, seamlessly integrated into the temple's aesthetics. The gutters and drains were carved with a slight slope, facilitating the smooth flow of water away from the temple and preventing stagnation and erosion. The hydraulic engineering involved in the Kailasa Temple's drainage system is clearly ahead of its time. The builders had advanced knowledge of water flow and pressure principles, evident in the way the drainage system was designed to handle large volumes of water. The system's ability to function effectively for over a millennium, with minimal maintenance, speaks volumes about the expertise of its creators. If not for the sophisticated drainage system, the Kailasa Temple might not have withstood the test of time and remain preserved to this day. How was it possible for an ancient civilization to implement such a complex system without the aid of modern technology? Equally impressive and adding another layer to its wonder are the unique acoustic properties of the temple. The extraordinary sonic dynamics of the temple are most evident in its halls and chambers, where sound behaves in ways that are both intriguing and baffling. Chants and musical notes resonate within these spaces, amplifying and echoing in a manner that seems intentionally designed. The temple's architecture, with its rock-carved pillars, vaulted chambers, and interconnected halls, appears to have been designed to enhance sound in a specific way, elevating certain frequencies and sound waves. This feature is particularly notable considering the rock-carved nature of the temple, which generally absorbs sound rather than amplifying it. Moreover, the echoes produced within the temple's chambers are not chaotic but seem to be controlled, adding a rhythmic quality to the sounds. The temple's architects appear to have had a profound knowledge of acoustics, influencing the design and construction of the temple. The placement of pillars, the curvature of ceilings, and the dimensions of chambers seem to have been meticulously planned to achieve specific acoustic effects. When compared to modern acoustic engineering, the sonic dynamics of the Kailasa Temple are both impressive and baffling. Modern concert halls and theaters are designed with the aid of advanced technology to achieve desired acoustic effects. The Kailasa Temple, however, was built over a millennium ago, without the technology or materials typically used in modern acoustics. This disparity raises questions about the level of acoustic knowledge possessed by the temple's architects. The source of the acoustic knowledge used in the construction of the Kailasa Temple remains a mystery. There are no historical records explaining the principles or techniques employed. This lack of documentation has led to speculation about how such advanced acoustic understanding was achieved. But what was the purpose of the site's acoustic features? A theory that emerges from the acoustic properties of the Kailasa Temple is the potential use of sound for healing purposes, a concept deeply rooted in ancient traditions and practices. This theory suggests that the temple's unique acoustic features were deliberately designed to harness the healing power of sound, making it not only a place of worship but also a center for holistic healing and wellness. The concept of acoustic or sound healing is based on the idea that sound vibrations can influence our physical and mental health. In many ancient cultures, including the Vedic tradition of India, sound has been considered a powerful tool for healing and transformation. The specific frequencies and resonances within the Kailasa Temple could have been calibrated to create an environment conducive to healing. The echoes and vibrations within its chambers could have been designed to resonate with certain frequencies that promote spiritual awakening and transcendence to elevated states of consciousness. But the mysteries of the Kailasa Temple do not end there. 
The site is filled with a variety of strange handles, each wrapped in questions due to their unknown purpose. To add to the enigma, the area features numerous holes and cavities, all notably smooth and equally baffling in their intended use. The craftsmanship is evident in the various marks on the site, particularly in the drainage channels we mentioned earlier. They appear to have been carved out of the rock, almost as if the ancients had some form of lost technology that allowed them to melt the stone and easily shape and sculpt it. Among the deepest mysteries of the temple, and indeed of the Alora Caves as a whole, are the extensive underground passages. Many believe there are numerous hidden tunnels leading to unexplored caves and chambers beneath the mountain. It is widely believed that these passages are part of a larger network, connecting the entire site through a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The secrets that these depths may seal continue to intrigue and baffle researchers. Every facet of the Kailasa Temple points towards advanced engineering insight and deep knowledge that has been lost in the annals of history. This historical resilience of the Kailasa Temple was demonstrated during the 17th century when Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb ordered the destruction of many Hindu temples during his reign as part of his policy of religious intolerance. His campaign of destruction included an attempt to demolish the Kailasa Temple. However, the task of destroying the Kailasa Temple proved to be a formidable challenge. History recounts that a thousand men were employed to tear down the temple, and they worked for three years. Despite their efforts, they could only cause minimal damage, such as defacing some sculptures and carvings. The main structure of the temple remained virtually intact. This narrative echoes the historical episode involving Alaziz Uthman, the son of Saladin, who similarly attempted to demolish an ancient architecturally advanced monument. According to historical accounts, around the year 1196 AD, Alaziz Uthman ordered an attempt to demolish the Minkra Pyramid, which is the smallest of the three pyramids of Giza. The motives for this decision are not entirely clear, but it is speculated that it could have been for practical purposes, such as reusing the stones for constructions elsewhere, or as a symbolic act to diminish the legacy of the ancient Egyptians. However, this attempt largely failed. The workers assigned to this task discovered that dismantling the pyramid was an enormously difficult and labor-intensive task. After several weeks of effort, they managed to remove only a small portion of the exterior cladding stones. The difficulty and cost of the enterprise led to its abandonment, and the pyramid remained virtually intact. This incident is a testament to the durability and resilience of ancient structures built with advanced means. It illustrates the significant difference in appreciation and architectural experience between the civilization that erected the monuments and the one that attempted to demolish them. Returning to the Kailasa Temple, we must recognize it not only as a monumental architectural achievement, but also as a profound testament to the ingenuity and advanced knowledge of our ancestors. Its construction, a feat that defies the limitations of its time, along with its sophisticated acoustic and drainage systems, suggests a level of technological and architectural understanding far beyond what was believed possible in antiquity. The temple's resistance against attempts at destruction and its mysterious yet unexplained features, such as the potential aerial markers and the unknown whereabouts of the excavated rock, only add to its enigma. Therefore, the Kailasa Temple remains an enduring symbol of human capability and a source of inspiration and wonder for future generations, inviting us to explore and appreciate the depths of our shared human heritage. What are your thoughts on the construction of the Kailasa Temple and its mysterious features? Thank you for watch. Please subscribe for support the channel. If you like the video, give it a like and share with your friends.